with the Refract House. This is Team California's entry into the Solar Decathlon. Uh, we're two schools actually joined together, Santa Clara University and California College of the Arts in San Francisco. Some of the neat things about the house are um, the fact that we really focus on the integration between design and technology. Um, so you'll notice as we're walking around that the shape of the house is one of the most important features of the house itself. Um, we chose to do a C-shaped um, house that's bent tube. Um, which most schools won't do just because of the difficulty in engineering that's related to it. So architecture-wise, that's kind of the most important feature. Also the idea that um, in a solar house, we, you actually won't see our solar panels. But one of the most important things that you won't see is actually our heating and cooling system. So we use a radiant heating and radiant cooling system. What we did was we actually took the same principle, you put it in the ceiling and are running cold water through the tubes. Um, we've solved the issue of condensation on tubes um, by doing a detailed system of sensors, humidity sensors, and um, actually will uniformly cool the house through a, a lot less energy, using a lot less energy than forced air. We have an oversized system. Uh, it's about 11 and a half kilowatts. Uh, we have 48 Sun Power 225 black panels on our roof. So we have Sun Power for efficiency on our roof and then for aesthetics because a lot of people may see you know, the polka dotted panels and not like those. We chose jet black because it looks like a uniform plain um, black roof. Our system in its peak efficiency will produce about 60 kilowatt hours per day. Um, we won't use nearly any of that. We'll use about 20. And so the inverters that we're using are Sunny Boy SMA. Um, they are also kind of the standard in the industry right now. Um, the idea behind the inverter is that you know the solar panels produce uh, DC power and we're converting it then with those inverters to AC power to power most of our appliances. Another neat thing with that controls and monitoring system is it's actually made into an iPhone application by students on our team so that it acts as a central remote for your home that you can not only you know, see your energy production but also control things like your windows. Uh, you can control the shades that go down on your windows and you can control your lighting.